simply connected rain rain is a simply connected if a its complement with respect to the extended plane is connected now theorem one a rain omega is simply connected if and only if n gamma i equals to zero for all the cycles gamma in omega and all the points of which do not belong to omega now proof let gamma be any cycle of omega if the complement of omega is connected it must be contained in one of the rings determined by gamma and in as much as infinity belongs to the complement this must be unbounded rain now consequently n gamma a is equal to 0 for all the finite points in the complement consequently let us assume that the complement of uh, omega can be represented as the union of a union b of two disjoint closed sets one of these sets are contained in infinity and the other is consequently bounded let a be the bounded set the set a and the b have uh, a shortest distance delta is greater than zero cover the whole plane with a net of sequence of q of side delta upon square root 2 we are too free to choose <coughs> the net so that a certain points a small a belongs to capital a lies at the center of the square the boundary curve of the q is donated by delta q now let us assume that the square of q are closed and the interior of q lies left of the directed line segments which makes up delta q now consider now the cycle gamma is equal to sigma j delta q j where the sum ranges over all the square of q j and the knot which have a point common with a net this uh, which have a point common with a since a is contained in one and only one of the, all these squares therefore n gamma a is equal to one also gamma does not meet b but uh, the cancellations are carried out and gamma does not meet a indeed any side which meets a is a common side of the two squares included in the sum one and since the the directions are opposites then side not appear in the reduced expression of gamma hence gamma is contained in omega